What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. BMX Trash Talk here. And thank you for tuning in. Well, this one is a different type of bike that I would normally do a video on. This is a 1998 SM Challenger. And I had a hard time trying to find this bike on the museum. But what gave it away was the rear dropout and this pipe that's right in the middle from the frame and the rear brake. And I went page by page on the BMX Museum and found out that it was a Challenger. A buddy of mine didn't know what kind of SM it was, but it is a dirt jumping bike. And he's had this bike for well over 10 years. I'm gonna say over 15 years. So he's had his bike for a very long time. He's changed up some stuff on it, but the frame and fork he's had for a while. And I think the wheels too. Now this is the same guy that actually got me hooked on this hobby back when we were in middle school, over 20 years ago. He had a lot of top notch bikes back then. And he was involved with a little bit of everything, freestyle and race bikes and dirt jumping bikes. So I would get a lot of my parts and knowledge from him. So thanks to him, I am, I didn't went cuckoo with collecting these bikes now. I, w I wasn't a collector back then. I was just a regular old, you know, guy with a BMX bike, but now I'm a full blown collector. So I would like to thank him for that. Thank you, Tony. But this is what we're working with so far. The stem is a newer style s &M stem. And it's the same as the C-clamp. Then you have a premium seat. And I like this seat too. And the seat's comfortable too. Not like that Viscount or Cashamax seats on the old school. ODR grips four piece bars and primo hubs and these are son of a bomb primo then you have primo double walled wheels and the forks are horror forks I don't know if you can see the, the name by the nut there go and I'm not a fan of super fat tires like these. But he loves tires like these. But he's going to change his bike up some. And you got Primo pedals. I'm not sure with which three-piece crank this is. But that is a premium sprocket. And you have... Haro hubs and a Haro rim. So the bike has like this, I don't know if it's like a plexi dip, something like that, but it's, it, it's a spray paint that you can spray it on. It's real easy to come off. So if any of you guys are short on money, you just want to just throw something on the bike he got the paint from Walmart. So I remember when he sprayed this bike down, he wanted to have that matted black look on it, but this stuff comes off very easy. So I'm gonna be doing update videos on this bike. More like a rags to riches s &M. So right now she's a little on the rough side, but um, we're gonna bring her back to life and we're gonna probably more likely keep a bunch of these parts on here, but uh, it's definitely gonna have a different look as the, uh, the process goes on. So stay tuned to the videos. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, like the video, please. Share the video, please. And ring that notification bell that way you catch my videos when they come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.